Hi, I'm Landon Whaley. I'm here with Stephen Hotchberg from the Elliott Wave International. Uh, Stephen, you and I were talking off air, and I want to bring that, what we were talking about, on air. And what I said to you was, with the Elliott Wave principle, you're, you're looking at a chart, and you're trying to determine where in a particular wave a market is to determine where it's headed next. Right. Is that right? It's right. In, a, in a nutshell? Right. Okay. And my, my pushback a little bit was, in my belief and my study of sort of, of human beings in their decision making, is that you know our humanness hardwires us to be obsessed about patterns and symmetry in all areas of our lives. Okay. And so this comes to fruition when we start to evaluate markets quantitatively speaking. We, we are hardwired, and so it, this obsession forces us to see patterns that don't exist, but it also forces us to ignore patterns that do exist if they run contrary to our perspective. So the pushback with the Elliott Wave is that you are relying in a large part on this humanist, on our eyeballs, to evaluate whether something's in a wave or not. So can you tell me a little bit about why you think maybe I'm wrong, or how parts of the, the principle combat this humanist idea? Right, and I don't disagree with what you said. Okay. Uh, but the humanist is, is really the core of your question, and we can't avoid that. We're all right, human. Right, exactly. right. We're all, with all our faults. Uh, so naturally, there might be patterns that we don't recognize as playing out. Patterns are playing out all the time, but as humans, we may not recognize them as what they are. Right. Uh, and so, and I said to you off camera, I said, if you recognize a pattern, go with it, because, because you have confidence in it, and, 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 uh, and if you don't recognize it, move on. Uh, but we're all human, and we all have to take into our account our limitations. But it's we're looking at relative to what? In other words, relative to an economist who maybe use indicators that are that are lagging, that are months old, like an employment in, in index or whatever. Um, and also, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be a little bit better than the guy next to you to make money in the market. Uh, Preach and so, it. And I think that's what the Elliott Wave principle does. It gives you that little bit of leg up over that guy next to you. That's all you got to do. And I, and I love that point is, is it, you know, trading in markets is about probabilities and it's about tilting the odds of success just m slightly in your favor, but doing it repeatedly. And I think that's one of the ways where Elliott Wave principle really shines is the repeatability of its consistency, right? It's a repeatable process that puts you on the right side of moves more often than not. Is that a fair, that, fair thing a, for me to say? It's a fair because humans repeat their emotions en masse right. from pessimism to optimism and back. And that's what R and Elliott discovered years ago. So yeah, I think it's a great way of putting it. Okay. Now let me ask you this. You've 30 years in the markets. What is, a, what is a common misconception that you believe most investors have about markets that is holding them back from reaching their you know, full investing potential? The most uh, important thing I run into is, is people read the news wrongly. They read the news okay. uh, for what it says, but not for what it means, all right? So when you read a headline and it says, market breaks out and ebullience is everywhere, like we saw earlier this year. Right. It means the market breaks out. It, it says the market breaks out, but what it really means is people are optimistic to an extreme. In other words, the headlines usually mean the opposite of what they say. And so the common misconception or problem I run into in talking to investors is, We'll say, well, you know, I turned into my newspaper and the stock and the stock market's at X, Y, Z. Uh, and it says, you know, earnings are great and, and the market's going. And I said, okay, that's what it says. But what does it mean? What, what does that mean when people in mass are ebullient or mm -hmm. exuberant or, or optimistic? It means you're closer to the end of the trend than usually you are in to the beginning of the trend. And the same thing is true on the downside. You know, I can remember the Wall Street Journal headline from 2009 in March when the Dow was breaking down, and, and I think Dow was at 6,500 or something. It said, Dow 5,000? You know, question mark possible? <laughs> right, right, right. It was like within hours of the low. So, right, right. So, the bottom was imminent. Right. Yeah. So read the read the news, what it means, not what it says. That's, that's right. terrific. That's terrific. All right. One final question. Two final questions. 30 years. What's the best piece of investing market-related advice you've ever received, read, or heard? Oh, wow. Can you boil it to one? I'm not sure I can. Uh, okay. I think that, uh, I think Bob Prechter at Elliott Wave International yep. really uh, uh, crystallized things when he brought the wave principle kind of, it was in the background in the 70s, okay. and he brought it to the forefront, and it really changes your way of thinking. I think that's the way I'll answer this, is if you study the wave principle, you think differently going forward, not only about markets, but about the human condition and how we interact as humans. Uh, because because the, the implication of crowd psychology is not just for markets, but it manifests itself in society at large. And, and to the music we listen to, and to the clothes
clothes we wear and so forth. So um, I, the way I approach it is that the, the wave principle really has changed my life. And I, and I mean that not in some fantastical way, but really on, on how I assess of what's going on in, in the world, in society, and in the markets, and it's just been a fascinating journey. Oh, that's that's powerful. That's powerful. Well, look, tell the folks out there if they want to know more about what you're doing, what Elliott Wave Principal and Elliott Wave International are into. Where can they? Where's the best place for them to find out about that? Uh, just come to our website. It's www.elliottwave.com. Elliott has two L's and two T's in it, and Elliott Wave is one word. Elliottwave.com. We got tons of information on the Wave Principal, how to use it, and some free material and. All so you can try out our uh, product and see if you like it. Perfect. Steven, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate it.